Hi runners and other like-minded people. So today I'm doing the review of the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2s. So this shoe has a 10 millimeter heel drop, which is 28 on the back and 10 millimeters on the front. This is a neutral shoe, so it's probably very good for the um, uh, majority of runners out there. But if you're one that's got an overpronating foot or underpronating, as uh, if you've got your like, foot analyzed, then you'll know that this, this shoe isn't right for you. But if you're just a general uh, standard runner, then this shoe is gonna be absolutely perfect. It's uh, 233 grams for a size 11 and a half, and that is, really light because it's quite a big size the size in an 11 and a half these are a size 11 and an 11 and a half is only 230 grams which it's a really light for a shoe so it's really really good to uh, yeah to go unnoticed when you're taking each step on the road and also this shoe has got both zoom x foam and react foam on the top here it's got the zoom x foam which they use in the uh, nike next percent and the alpha fly and then the bottom half is the react foam which they use in the uh, Pegasus line of shoes and the Nike React shoes, obviously. But I think what they've done, they've done this, which is going to give you a lot more cushioning down the road because the uh, Nike Zoom X foam doesn't actually la last very long because of how reactive it is and it loses its cushion cushioning very quickly. But because it's uh, been used on the top half and you've got the React on the bottom, it's giving you the same a lot of benefit as the uh, Zoom X foam. But obviously you've got the React there going on as well, just to make the shoe last that little bit longer. Now, firstly, we're going to be talking about comfort. So this shoe doesn't slip at all. It, when, when you tie it down, it really locks into place. So a lot of people have said it slips a bit, but I haven't really noticed that personally. Uh, I have quite a narrow feet, and when I pull it up tight, I usually get shoes that slip quite a lot. But these shoes, I haven't had that issue at all. No hot spots either. I suffer with blisters quite badly on the instep of my foot here, on the uh, arch of my foot. But I haven't, I haven't got this as bad. Obviously, I do get it as I'm doing longer runs, but if I tape up my feet, I don't get any issues at all, which is a real bonus with these shoes. My dad, he uh, gets a few hot spots on his feet as well, and he's n had not had any of those problems either since running in these shoes. We used to use the um, Nike Zoom Fly Fly Knits before these, and we got issues like that quite a lot. But since changing into these shoes, we haven't really noticed that happening as much. You also get great response, they're very responsive and you get a lot of energy return off of the road which is obviously what we're all looking for here when you're running those speed sessions or in your marathons or 5Ks, any distance at all. Uh, it's really giving you a lot back and it's not you're not actually losing a lot into the uh, foam itself because a lot of shoes can sometimes be quite marshmallowy feeling and you lose a lot into the uh, road and the foam but this you really, everything you put in you don't, do tend to get back and you don't really lose that much at all. But one slight downside to this shoe is on the heel here, they do not have much cushioning. On the uh, Pegasus Turbo 1s, uh, they did have quite a lot of cushioning on the back. But this, they've really like minimalised it to obviously make the shoe a lot lighter than the last one. But uh, the problem with that is then on the heel, there's nothing really there to uh, cushion or to stop uh, blisters. So for some runners out there, I haven't got this issue, but you probably could get blisters a lot more easily if you're not careful. But after a few uh, miles or so, this it would loosen off and then the issue would probably disappear. So I wouldn't really think you'd need to worry about it. But uh, taking all of that in cons consideration, I'll probably give comfort a four out of five. Now on to durability. Uh, this shoe, uh, I've run 160 kilometers in the shoe for, so far, and that's why I'm doing this review now. And I have not noticed anywhere on the shoe at all. A lot of shoes you sometimes get a bit of scuss here and there on these soles, but I haven't got that at all. Um, the the uh, rubber on these shoes itself is really, really thick, which is uh, obviously what you need. So if you scuff your feet a bit, yeah, it's uh, not really going to affect the shoe too much, and it should be able to withstand it with not too much issues, which is obviously what we're all looking for. And um, based off how far I've ran in this shoe so far, I'll probably say the shoe is going to last you roughly to 1,000 to 1,500 kilometers, which is really, really good for a shoe like this because this is, um, yeah, you, it's all very going to be serving you very, very nicely. For that sort of distance you can get out of this shoe, it's going to be very well uh, used for your 5K all the way up to the marathon. And you should, um, this is very, very good all round a shoe for any of you runners out there. Because of how long the shoes last and the uh, current state they're in with absolutely no scuffing, no wear at all, obviously apart from a bit of mud 
I'm going to give the durability a 5 out of 5. Now finally, on to performance. This shoe is really, really grippy. It's uh, on the rubber. It's got, it's not really, really deep tread, but it's good enough to uh, work in the wet and the dry conditions, but maybe not so much in the uh, icy conditions. You may want to get out some uh, deeper lugged uh, trail shoes for that, but for your um, general use of if it's really, really rainy or, or it's really sunny, this shoe is gonna be absolutely perfect for that. It's uh, due to the thin upper here it's very much so uh, breathable, which is uh, of course what we all want when you're out on those longer runs or even your 5K. It's uh, the moisture wicks quite a lot, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. So you don't get really sweaty and horrible feet. Obviously you will do after a while, but overall it's not too bad. One thing I do have to mention about the shoe is it's uh, quite narrow, which is not a surprise because Nike shoes, they do like to make their shoes quite narrow. but. Yeah, and when you're turning those corners, it can feel slightly unstable when you're going around a corner at speed. If you're going around easy, it's not it's not uh, bad at all. But if you're going around uh, quite quickly on your intervals or something and you turn a corner, you can feel a slight unstable. It's not as bad as something like the next percent, but as long as you go easy, you shouldn't really have an issue. But uh, once you, yeah, some people, they can deal with this more than others. Because I've got quite naturally narrow feet, I don't really notice this, but if you have quite wide feet, you may feel quite unstable under feet, but you, yeah, you will need to put these shoes on and to really test it out for yourself to find out if this is an issue for you at all. But once you strap these onto your feet, you tie them up nice and tight, obviously not too tight because you don't want to stop your circulation, but once you've got these shoes on and they're all set into place and you get off on your run, you don't notice they're there at all. And because of that, I'm going to give these a four and a half out of five. three categories into consideration that's a total of 13 and a half out of 15 which is really good uh, it's a really good shoe and I certainly recommend it for all you guys out there if you're out there doing your intervals your easy runs your marathons half marathons 5k 10k it's a good all-rounder shoe and it's very very versatile which is obviously what we want in a shoe because it's giving it a good uh, value for money because rather than having to get loads and different shoes for different ones like you have to get some of the uh, injury reducing uh, Nike shoes for your easy runs but then another pair of shoes for your speed runs and another for race day this is a really good for all round because um, you could probably even use this on race day because it's got some uh, nice of that uh, zoom x foam in there so it's going to give you a lot of response and to help you be propelled to that finish line as quickly as possible as that's of course what we all want out of this shoe but yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you think of the shoe? Have you ever tried it yourself? What shoes do you use? Are you a Nike uh, fanboy like me? Or are you a, a Hoka or Adidas? Let me know down in the comments and we can get into a chat about it. So I think that will conclude today's video. So thank you very much everyone for watching my video. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed and hit that like button. And don't forget to leave that comment down below as well. But most importantly, above all of that, don't forget to keep running.